The YouTube sensation, the kiss tards aggravation. He always stops and smells the flowers, too clean to take showers. At night he fights crime, a few coins short of a roll of dimes. A lunatic run amok, he is the illustrious Dr. Fuck. Schmackamagabba, everybody. I got me a donation. Another one from Pontus Dahlberg, if you recall. Came up with a great idea. He came up with uh, me to rank songs that have the same title, but they're different songs. I thought that was really fun. Uh, the two he sent me. And here's part three. And I saw a lot of people enjoyed this too, as well. So let's do this. All right, we start with uh, ACDC Livewire versus Motley Cruz Livewire. This will probably be the only time that I would pick Motley Crue over ACDC. Example, Bad Boy Boogie. Woo, what a slaughter ACDC's version is. On the day I was born, the rain came down. There was trouble brewing in my hometown. A post of Bad Boy Boogie, bad is bad. Oh my God. But live wire. It's my all-time favorite Motley Crue song. I mean, that song just owns. Verse, and now next is uh, Jefferson Starship with Jane versus Persian Risk with Jane, which I never heard that Persian Risk song, so I looked it up, and it was okay. Good pop, but man, I love Jane. Jefferson Starship's Jane. That wins. Next, The Animals with It's My Life versus Wendy O's It's My Life. You know... I'm going to go with the animals, but I will tell you this, the version Kiss recorded during the Psycho Circus era, wherever, during the late 90s, where Ace Frehley sang the verse too, that's even better than, the, than this animals version, I think. But I'm going to go with the animals on here. Next, Deep Purple Hard Loving Man versus Riot Hard Loving Man. I was like, oh man, that's a really good one. Because Hard Love and Man just rules. But, I mean from Deep Purple, but man, that, it's what opens Restless Breed. Are you ready to rock? Are you ready to rock? Man, rest in peace, Rhett Forrester. What a killer song. I'm giving, I'm giving that one a riot. I love Hard Love and Man by them. Even more. And I like Deep Purple's version. All right, next. Roy Orbison versus Aerosmith with the song Crying, which is extremely simple for me. Roy Orbison by far. I love that man's voice. And I hate that Aerosmith song. So yeah, and I love crying from Roy Orbison. I love his version. I love his song. Not version. They're different songs. All right, next. Joe South with Game People Play versus Alan Parsons' Game People Play. I listen to both. And like the Joe South, I was like, eh, it's not bad. It's all right. Then I listen to Alan Parsons. I was like, God, I remember this song from the radio. I'm going to give it to Alan Parsons. It brought back some cool nostalgia, man. All right, next. Metallica, For Whom the Bell Tolls, versus Saxons, For Whom the Bell Tolls. Again, and no disrespect to Saxon, because I absolutely love them, but For Whom the Bell Tolls by Metallica is better, though, I got to say, For Whom the Bell Tolls by Saxon is a kick-ass song. Just got to go with Metallica on that one. All right, next. Uh, Fastway with All Fired Up versus... Jesus Priest, all fired up. Now, nah, you know, definitely a uh, fast way. And, you know, uh, the second fast way album's not bad. I, I, you know, the first one to me is the best, but most of you out there think it's Trick or Treat. That's cool you think that, but to me, the first album blows Trick or Treat away. But, fa you know, uh, all fired up has its moments. And the Priest version, that drum machine is terrible. I'm giving that to fast way. All right, and there's a video for All Fired Up from Fastway. Next, Sweet with Hellraiser versus Ozzy's Hellraiser, which you can even add Motorhead's Hellraiser, both of them together, and it still won't win over the Sweet's Hellraiser, which is an awesome song. I never liked Hellraiser from Ozzy or the Motorhead version, so Sweet gets that. Now we're down to the last one, which is 
Everly Brothers Cry in the Rain versus White Snakes Cry in the Rain now. I never heard the Elver, uh, Everly Brothers version. I listened to it and it was quite nice. I really did enjoy it. But I'm going with White Snake because the song rules and John Sykes' guitar solo on there, like many of the guitar solo, are just neck breakers. Absolutely love it. So, uh, Pontus, there you are, man. That's part three. And I really do enjoy it. I, uh, I like how you find these songs, dude, with the same title, but different, uh, different songs. That's a talent. I can't do that. Anyway, thank you so much, Pontus. I really do appreciate it. And everybody out there still watching, I appreciate you as well. And if you'd like to donate, i got a PayPal in the description below. So, please, please, leave your comments below. What do you feel? You know, what songs would you pick and stuff like that? You know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Ring the little notification bell and like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gob.